to your like iCloud photos to um, like you know public metro systems are all effectively compromisable. It's not like your like local hacker is gonna have like a two ton computer just chilling out in his house, but it does mean that like a government, if they wanted to, would have nothing that could stop them. And I personally find that pretty terrifying. I got that sense in your article. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had a line where you said, "This will revolutionize. Rev this will cause a revolution in society," which was pretty powerful. Um, and I got the tone that you kind of felt like this was going to swing in more of the negative direction. Do you kind of, do you fear this more than you celebrate this, I guess? I mean, everyone has their own opinion on this. I feel like it's less objective, but personally, I feel like we've come to the stage where in regards to personal benefits, we've kind of got all of them. Like, you know, we have our smartphones and those are fast enough for mm -hmm. us. And we have our laptops and those are fast enough for us. There's not very much that like would help the individual that we can't already do so just the extra power is kind of it's overkill for anyone except you know like the most powerful governments trying to do the most incredible things for better or for worse so i feel like maybe i'm just not imaginative enough but i see a lot more downsides